Generally, the national identification systems are set up to address issues such as civil registries to voter rolls, health records to social transfers, public payrolls to pension payments, and so forth. The National ID System Project is a government initiative that's aimed at establishing a central database from which identification cards are issued for every Papua New Guinea citizen. The aim of the system is to register all citizens of Papua New Guinea into the proposed central database known as the Population Information Management System or PIMS. So how does one get registered into the system? The commentary by the National Research Institute explains that two basic methods of recording of individuals are appropriate. The first method is the current data form called the National Identity Data Form. Currently undergoing testing, the National Identity Data Form is a modified version of the birth registration form that is being used by the Office of Civil Registration for issuing birth certificates. Basic information includes name, age, gender, ethnicity, current address, marital status, education, occupation, and parents' information. When this form is filled in, it creates an entry into the PIMS. Fingerprint scan and photograph will also be included. The other option is through the updating process that is tasked to the Department of Community Development and Health Department on the new births. Despite concerns that an ID system violates a citizen's basic right to privacy, the commentary says the government is establishing the system so that individuals can make business and private transactions at ease in the future and basically for development purposes. Delibagu, National MTV News.